All right, so today we're going to talk about the things that are going to make you a better golfer. So first and foremost, the most, this is probably the most important one out of all of them to take away from this. If you're married or have a girlfriend, do everything you can to satisfy them because 90% of the time, they're just going to be disappointed in you. <laughs> so it's important that you give them everything they need, that 10%. Because 90% of the time, you're going to mess up. You're in the wrong. So when you want to go play golf with the boys, you want to get out to the course, that's your 90%. That's how you're going to get better, is 10% woman, 90% you gotta play. So, 10%, focus on your woman, or boyfriend, or all the other stuff in between. And then golf, because you're, you're gonna be gone a lot. You need to put in the reps, you need to put in the time, your relationship's gonna lack, but that's, that's just what's required. <clears throat> the next thing, you need to identify which way your ball goes. Whether that is this, a big sweeping draw right to left, or, well, I don't know if I'm actually going to be able to hit a big cut with a 52 degree, but, or if your shot shape is something more like that, going the other way. So once you've identified which way you hit the ball, you need, to, you need to figure out that once you go on the golf course, it's probably gonna go the opposite direction of what you think. So you gotta play for the happy medium. So in this case, I know that my hook is going to be worse than my cut. I'm gonna aim slightly right. That way if I push it, it's not a foul ball, but if I do snap hook it, we're still in play. So a little bit right of the target line. See, there I go. I pushed it. With the exception, see that would have landed in the grid. <clears throat> Play for the miss. Play the percentages. The next step to getting better is understanding how to play from the wrong side of the ball because there's gonna be fences, there's gonna be barriers, and everything in between. You need to learn how to stand on the incorrect side of the golf ball and still be able to make contact. That was a poor example, let me try again. Wrong side of the ball. That was a little better. That's not bad for an upside down 52, 98 yards. Know how to play from both sides of the ball. Then, the next step, when you're hitting the driver squirrely, when in doubt, swing harder. Because most of the time when you're getting up there and you're hitting the ball, most of the time you start hitting it crooked you're putting the steering wheel on it. And what I mean is you're trying to guide that ball out there in a specific direction. If you start miss hitting it, get up there and swing. As hard as you can. Probably still gonna miss it, but it's a lot more fun missing it a really long way. The final thing, and this is probably the most the second most important, besides taking care of your woman, is developing your short game where you are consistent. So if I'm 100 yards out, my objective is to never miss this green, and in this case, I hope I never miss this green because this green's like 50 yards long. Be able to put yourself in a position where you have a chance to one putt this green.
Yeah, we're getting better. You put all this together and leave your wife at home, your scores will greatly improve. Looks like I need to work on my short game. <laughs>